Moin Moin Meile Friends, today we are talking about the transmission oil change kit with our part number 100-135-0114. This transmission oil change kit is intended for the Audi S-Tronic 7-speed DSG transmission. This transmission was exclusively installed in all-wheel drive vehicles ranging from Audi A4 to Audi Q5. This kit contains 7 liters of transmission specific oil, especially for the Audi dual clutch transmission. Then we have all the accessories with us, as you would expect from Meile. Here's another special feature. We have two different caps for the external filter. Why these two? I'll show you in a moment when I change the oil. Now that we have read out the fault memory and cleared the gearbox so we have good access to the oil pan, we can start draining the oil. While the oil is now draining from the oil pan, we can change the external oil filter. Important here are the two different versions of the filter cap that could be installed here. As you can see in our assembly instructions, there is version 1, where there is an additional plastic clip that prevents the cap from twisting. Or version 2, where there is a detent on the filter bracket that also secures the cap from twisting. Life is full of surprises. This vehicle seems to have had an oil change before. Now I have seen the following. A filter is installed that does not meet the required specifications. You can clearly see how the filter has contracted. This is an indicator that the filter does not have the required flow rate that such a filter must have. This can, of course, lead to insufficient lubrication in the gearbox and thus to very expensive consequential damage. A quick comparison of what the right filter should look like. So, there we have it. This is a paper filter, consisting of wound filter paper. For comparison, the old one is made of some kind of fiber. Using the removed filter cap, we now select the correct cap from the Meile set. Next, we put the sealing ring on the cap here. I always take a little oil from the gearbox and lubricate it again so it slides better in the housing. Then put the filter in and screw the lid on tightly. The tightening torque here is 8 newton meters. The next step is to unscrew the oil pan from the gearbox. Next, I now remove the oil pan gasket, clean the oil pan and replace the magnets. The new magnets now take the place of the old ones. 
halten. So. Next, we can remove the filter. We have to be a bit careful because there's an electric wire on the back side that we should not damage. You can simply unscrew it towards the back. You can hear it bubbling because a little residual oil still comes out of the mechatronics and then you can pull it down. The connector pipe of the filter is now pushed into the gearbox here and then the filter must be pushed in here at the top. There's a ring on the filter here, but it does not have a sealing function. It is only there to ensure that the filter sits properly. So the next step is to reassemble the oil pan. But before we do that, we have to clean the sealing surface properly. This should be as free of oil as possible. All the balls are now in place on the oil pan and we will now tighten them in a cross pattern with 10 newton meters per bolt. The next step is to screw in the drain plug again. It is fitted with a new seal and tightened to 45 newton meters. Now we can fill the gearbox. We fill it with oil until it drips out of the refill plug. The engine is switched off. We now close the filling plug again and move on to the next step. Using a suitable diagnostic device, we read out the gearbox oil temperature and start the engine. Tester is connected and we have chosen the gearbox oil temperature. Why? We need a test temperature between 30 and 50 degrees. Next, we switch through the gears, all for at least two seconds. And now we fill up so much oil in here until it starts to drip out here. The gearbox oil now runs out and we have reached the correct oil level. I can now put the filling plug, also called the control screw, back in and tighten it with 45 newton meters. The gearbox is now correctly filled. The level is correct. I will now reassemble the car ready to drive. Take it for a test drive and then read out the fault memory again. Have fun and enjoy the ride.